Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed and today we're here to experience Foodie Land Night Market in Berkeley, California. Hey there you guys, we just made it here to Foodie Land Night Market in Berkeley, California. Uh, we're about to go inside, uh, but first we have to wait this line. It's a very long line and uh, they're being uh, very strict with like people not bringing like bags, like big bags and stuff. Anyways, we're just gonna be waiting here for some friends and hopefully this line starts going a little bit faster. So it goes all the way over there and there's a bunch of people over there still waiting. We got here like five minutes ago and now the line is like so big behind us. It's kind of crazy. So before we go in, I just want to tell you guys a little bit of what this is all about. This is basically a food festival kind of thing here in Berkeley. Um, a lot of different vendors come here to um, showcase like their food and snacks. Uh, not only food, but also there's a lot of like vendors selling merchandise here. So we're gonna see a lot of really cool things here today. The vendors that uh, you can find here um, are gonna sell keychains, patches, shirts, and things that they usually sell like in Etsy, things like that. Uh, so we're gonna see if we like anything and take some home. So we're moving about to cross security they told us to open our bags so they can see everything that we have apparently they're being super strict like i said at the beginning so hopefully it doesn't take too long so we just crossed security uh, they were cool about it we didn't have anything with us so it was a really easy process but we here we just made it to foodie land market and we're gonna see what we can find We're just walking around looking at the different like vendors and we came across this one right here. It's called Pink's. It's a uh, lobster mac, mac and cheese. It looks really good. So uh, we came and take a look at the menu and this man right here, he's a hero. Yeah. He, he just looked at us. He asked me if I was an Instagrammer or YouTuber and he offered to get us something for us. So thanks to him, we're going to get to try this. Treat yourself, don't cheat yourself. <laughs> Let your 10,000 taste buds celebrate. Whoa, look at this. This is a lobster tail with mac and cheese. Look at this beauty. This is insane. Thank you so much. Enjoy. That is so crazy how that happens. Like, <laughs> I don't even have that many subscribers, <laughs> but they just like looked at me with a camera and they gave me something free. I can't, I can't say no. The only thing with this place is that like every vendor they have like their own music playing So whenever you go to like in the middle of two vendors They're blasting music as loud as possible so that they can get like attention of people <laughs> It's kind of crazy one really funny thing is that like there's people like selling uh, like bubble blower things <laughs> So whenever you're walking you just like get stuck in like a mist of bubbles and something happened to me right now there was like a really big bubble coming towards me and i just like reacted like a matrix thing <laughs> and my friends just laughed at me because <laughs> the way i reacted i was like whoa i didn't know what it was it was really big <laughs> yeah that is the kid right there she's doing it right now So guys, right now I'm coming to this place. They're selling baby bottles. And this is kind of like one of the main reasons why I came here. Look at this thing, they're freaking big. So that's one of them. I think that's the one I'm gonna get. They're pretty big, you guys. So yes, they're selling baby bottles. And I think they all have uh, unlimited refill, so that's gonna be nice. I was actually looking at like the Instagram page of this place. And this is one of the things that I was like, I gotta get that. So I just went into the place and this is what I got. This is actually the small one. It's not the smallest one, but it is the small one. But look at this, compared to my face, and uh, I'm sure I showed you uh, some of the bigger ones. They seem like a freaking tank. It's kind of crazy. This is mango lemonade. So good. Another thing that I came here for 
are these birria tacos. Birria is just like lamb, uh, but it's made in like a very specific way. And they claim that they're from Tijuana. Tijuana is actually my hometown. So I wanna go there, get some tacos, and put my seal of approval. You guys let me know how I look. So this is the place, OG Tacos. This is their little menu. These prices seem kind of expensive, but I mean, if it's really good, it might be worth it. I'll be the judge of that. So, okay guys, this is the one I got. This is a small one, but this is not the smaller one. It's like, there's still like a tier smaller, but then this one, oh my God, this is the big one. That's insane. And there's one that is bigger, look at them. And there's still a bigger one. That's kind of insane. Mine is next, you guys. This is mine. Okay guys, I'm gonna try these tacos de birria. They seem really good. So let's see how they taste. This is my last bite. Right now we got to this place, they're doing like a raffle kind of thing. I'm not the luckiest person so I'm not gonna do it, but my girlfriend, she's won this raffle uh, tickets for like an aquarium like multiple times. Last time we went to this like there, it was like a roulette, so you had to spin it. And I did it, obviously I didn't win. And then she did it, she freaking won. I was like, whoa. <laughs> she won three times in a row or something like that. So this is what we're gonna do. And I guess all of these boxes, contain all the different prices for people. Wish us good luck guys. So this is the line for the raffle. As you can see, this is a very popular place and people are playing right over there. There was a lady in line and she was like, what is this line for? And I was like, uh, <laughs> she's on a line that she doesn't even know what it is for. So we explained and she was like, okay. <laughs> I figured that like, if there was a lot of people in line, it might be for a good thing. <laughs> so that was her plan. But before that, I'm gonna get one of these. They look so good. I wonder what flavors are those. The one I'm thinking about is this one right here and this one right here. Boom, here it is. This is a medium one. It looks really good actually. Can't wait to dive in. Whoa! There's some pretty cool murals that people like to take pictures with. Either you bring your like food or whatever you buy and you do this and take it here or you just take a picture in front of it. Just like this. When in Rome, you gotta do what you gotta do. Now we're checking out this place. It's like little garden or I don't know what they're called but it's like basically little plants on like cute like mugs with little rocks and they're like 20 bucks each. Kind of pricey. Now we're just going around looking at different like stores and we saw this one. These are like little patches that you can iron to your clothes or whatever. And there's a lot of different kinds and there's some of them are really cool actually. My favorite were these ones, the Pac-Man ones. You can see the ghost right here and you can see Pac-Man right there. Nom nom nom. Right there they show you like an example. It's like a converse or something. And you can make them your own with these like little patches. That's a ninja. Buying this was a really good investment. <laughs> but I have to admit that it was a little bit inconvenient. <laughs> it was really hard like eating or recording anything with this thing. Pros and cons. Pros and cons. We're getting towards the end of the, the visit here. We've been having a great time. But we're super full and we're walking around and we can't buy anything else. Like we still want to try different things, but we're so full. So right now, we're gonna chill for a while. We're hitting some of these benches and relaxing for a little bit. There's also like little sections with like games. This is not like the main attraction to here. Like I said, it's mainly food and like people selling stuff, but there are little games for little kids 
but as far as I can see, they're not very popular. I just saw that when I was sitting down and I thought I'd take a look because I saw a few people like standing around that place. They don't have a lot of stuff, so. All right, you guys, that is the end of our adventures here at the Foodie Land uh, Night Market in Berkeley. It was so much fun. We got to see a lot of really cool uh, vendors that sell different dishes and snacks, as well as different uh, vendors that have like merchandise uh, that is really cool. We got some stickers. There were like a lot of different things that you can have in your house and whatnot, or you can use as gifts. If you guys have the opportunity to come here uh, to, to the Foodie Land Night Market, it's definitely something you don't want to miss. All right, you guys, that is all from me. But if you like the video, make sure you go ahead and like it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one always remember to be kind have an open mind see you next time